Chicago is definitely a part of who I am, made me who I am, the way I am, from personality to who I was as a basketball player. You know what I'm saying? My toughness and everything it comes from the city. Yo, I'm Q Richardson. And right now we're standing on 103rd and Halston in the Wild Hunters in Chicago. And this is my city. We about to check it out, show you a couple places that's real near and dear to my heart. Very familiar. During my playing time, like, like, like people would think, like my first four years in LA, you would think like, yeah, you know, you live in LA, you gonna hang in LA or something. No. Exit meeting over, my cars would already be in Chicago and I would be on the first thing smoking out of LA after the exit meeting. Like, straight to the crib, about to touch back down, I'm gonna put my flag down and be the man in my city for a minute. So my pops came, he came from, from Mississippi, and he drove the CTA train for 38 years. Watching him, and like, like I said, that's been my life growing up. Like, that's where I got my work ethic from. All of this stuff, like, he did. This is what he do. Cars, all of these ladders, and just, when we go inside, and we really get to it, I promise you, just watch. It's about to be crazy. This is like basically every award I ever won from like probably sixth, seventh grade. Yeah, that's eighth grade, seventh grade, all the way up through high school, college. That was a junior, uh, we won gold with the junior team. There's some NBA players up there too. Just basically anything. We got some still put away in boxes. It's about to get crazy. Now, it used to be just a regular basement. Come down here, he literally built all of this with his bare hands. Like, this is like a, 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 a fake town. Police, all of this. It was a parallel there with him driving the trains and then being that in love with, with the hobby of it. These trains all move, change tracks. How long does it, would you, did it take you to do this, Pop? About, uh, two and a half months, something like that. Hey, I ain't meticulous enough to do none of this. Are you feel me? Those, those are all trains in every drill. And those trains, trust me, they are, they are expensive trains. So now we can go through here, and I'm gonna show y'all the other amazing part. The Richardson Theater. He built with his hands. Yeah, I built that bar too. I've done everything except the floor. I'm blessed, uh, the Lord blessing me with Quentin and all the blessings that uh, he given us. So we, uh, still giving us. and still giving us, yes. Think about the house we grew up in and, and the different situations like that, it was, you know, not even close <laughs> to anything like this. Did they see the house on 115? No, we're gonna go by there. You know, some families and some households, when some, you know, their kids become good at whatever they are, they treat them different. Nah, not my pops. I'm the son, he's the father. And that'll never change. It was never, you put up on some pedestal or you special because you could shoot a hoop or you could play basketball. That don't matter. You're going to be a good person, you're going to make the right decisions, you're going to do right by people, and you're going to always be grateful and humble. When you from here, the way we are, we feel like there's no other place like Chicago. What we represented was was harder and tougher than any other city. In Chicago, you gotta be able to hoop, you gotta be able to fight, you gotta be able to be tough. That's what you have to do. Yep, I can remember running down the side of the sidewalk and scraping my foot. I still got a mark on my foot from when I scraped my foot on the water sprinkler on the side of the house, playing and running. Me and all my cousins, all my family, we, this is, we grew up right here. And see, they got Friday night lights. Look at this, man, they got lights on the football field. This is crazy, for real. It's, it's great to, to, to know that the community has this, because it was nothing. It was just like industrial and stuff. Put my first crate on this pole, get the milk crate from the Wendy's, cut the bottom of the milk crate out, and you hooping. The first time I ever dunked, I ran up on here, jumped off the pole, and dunked. First time ever dunking. 
And um, when my pops was moving the last of the stuff out of here, I had given my brother the, uh, it was an infinity truck that I had gotten him. You know, rims and all that. So I guess that's what made the guys start following him initially. So they pull into the garage, you see how it's set up where it's the separation. So time they get out of the garage and get right here in the middle area, the guys was right there with the guns drawn on them, telling them to get on the ground and all of that stuff. Like for me, it just, it just lets you know that your life, your family can be touched by it too. It's not just something you watching on the news. Being in Chicago, growing up, seeing somebody or reading about it or hearing about it, for me, that was a that was a common occurrence. And I don't care how much money you got, how much fame you got, how much celebrity you got, how whatever it is, like life still happens. And this is basically what my brother got killed at. But it's crazy. Still love to be able to go go past the old neighborhood. I, I always do that every time I come through. I ride past the old house and, and just see how much stuff has changed and how stuff looks different. And it's always funny to see that, like how Cabrini Green is completely gone and they building that all up. And it's just the, the, the city has changed so much. And I mean, it's changing in a good way. So, you know, I'm happy for that. We got everything. We got music, food, culture just exposed me to different things from being from a tough inner city neighborhood to riding a metro train <laughs> and getting off by the stock exchange and taking the train to school and stuff. It, 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 it taught me about character and toughness and, and how to overcome things. All of those different things made me who I am. Quint Richardson on the drive.